Hi, it's that tech kid again, and I'm doing a tutorial on how to get custom firmware on your PSP 3000. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure this WACE also works on the PSP 1000 and 2000, so it's the same kind of deal. So first, you need to make sure that your PSP is running um, firmware 5.03. If it's not 5.03, do not even attempt it. It's not going to work and something bad could happen. So first, download that you need to get. It's Chicken Homebrew Enabler R2. And the website is psbhacks.com. And then I'll post the link in the description. So once you've downloaded that, I've just downloaded it to my... Where have I downloaded it? I downloaded it to my portable hard drive in my PSP folder and in just this and you'll get chicken R2 and you want to extract that to there and then the next download that you want to get is custom firmware enabler version 3.60 also on the PSP hacks website I'll post the description I'll post the link in the description also so download that and just download it to wherever you want and then so I've got them both here and I use WinRAR to extract and I just extracted the files to um, a folder in the same place. So once you've got um, those two files, you want to extract them and in Chicken R2 you'll get this and by now you should have plugged your USB into your PSP, which I've just done now. So that should come up. I just open it. Oh, sorry, I've got it on the wrong setting. I will just be one second. Um, I had it on that my USB device would be my UMD, which is a cool feature once you've got um, custom firmware, by the way. So it should load up onto my memory stick now. Removable disk G I've got. So, um,. Say so you've got your PSP 3000, you want to get the slim in the slim one, and in Chicken R2, you've got this. So you should go to go to your PSP file, and then to Photo, and then copy this whole folder into Chicken Chicken. And I've done that, and I've put extra couple of pictures in there, so it. Um, I don't know, someone said it loaded better. I can't really tell the difference. So you've got those files in there. And the other file that you need from Chicken is the H file. And that goes in the root of your memory stick. So not in any of these, just removal just G or where, whatever letter yours is. So just in the root of it, you'll copy H into there, which I've already done, as you can see. And also it creates egg hunt once you've done it successfully. I don't know what that does, but it's. I've been told to leave it in there. And then the second bit, you want to get custom firmware enabler, and in there, so you want to go to PSP game, and then you just want to get this. You go into PSP game, then you want to get this whole folder, and you want to drag it into there, which I've already done also. So now that you've got the file set up. Just load up your PSP and I'll show you how to do the chicken R2 and then I'll show you how to load custom firmware enabler. So I just switch over to the video. Okay, so now that you've got all your files onto your PSP 3000, which I just show you there, um, now that you've got that, you want to go to your folder that has chicken R2 files in so that should open up then as they load you want to and then you get this green screen and you might have to try it a few times sometimes it doesn't work the best the first time so then you've got this and you'll notice that you can load your games on here. So then you want to go into the custom firmware enabler 3.60 that we put on here. And it will load up because 
we are checking R2 on here. Okay. Yep. And then you want to go to Flash and Start. To proceed, you need to install custom firmware in Flash. You want to continue. I don't take any responsibilities if something goes wrong. See, installed successfully. Do you want to start it? Yes. Loading custom firmware. And you'll see that you now have let's go down to it. So you now have firmware on your PSP three thousand. See, five point zero three MHU. So there you have it, and I'll probably get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, there you go.